is up YouTube? Calvin from I-95 Muscle coming at you today with a beautiful 1968 Chevy 2 Nova. Uh, 68 was the first year for this body style. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Paint is near perfect. It's uh, like maybe one or two flaws that I can find on the on the paint. So it looks really good. It is a Yanko tribute car. There's one of your flaws. Like very minute stuff. The stripes are buried in the clear. So this car is pretty freaking amazing. Um, we'll go ahead and do a little walk around of this guy. Take it for a little spin. You can tell it sounds pretty good. And I'll show you why. That is because it is a... LS motor for the win. Yeah. So, uh, in this case, it does have the 5 Tech EFI, uh, the slightly higher RAM intake, but these cone filters are pretty noisy, so when you uh, are just sitting here idling like that, you can hear the cone filter sucking that air. But we have uh, power four wheel disc brakes, looks like a Corvette uh, master cylinder on there. We have power steering, so that's good. Tubular A-arms. Aftermarket steering uh, shaft. None of that rag joint stuff. It is uh, rack and pinion steering, so let me see if I can show you. Long tubes, rack and pinion steering. We got some Boss Motorsports uh, nine inch and 10 inch wheels. So the back ones are 10 inch wide. Uh, pretty clean, pretty clean install. Looks like your wiring harness is here. Obviously it goes over to the engine, but mounted over here. There is no heat and there is no AC on this car. So pretty nice setup. And LED headlights are a nice look. Come on, focus. Focus phone. There we go. So LED headlights. Again, these uh, the SYC on the hood is buried in the clear as well. This is another one of those little flaws. My phone does not want to focus today. Uh, there's a little scratch in the black there, so. All right. Let's go ahead and continue checking this thing out. You can hear it's got a little cam, a little chop. What you know about chop? Anodized blue door handle and window crank. That's pretty cool. Little blue inserted racing seats, which do a, quite a good job of uh, holding you. They're, they're bolstered pretty good, so that's pretty cool. You got your floor mounted shifter. This is an automatic. If I recall correctly, it's a turbo 350. That's the magical door window crank because it's black. The rest of them are blue. We don't charge any extra for that. A little bit of wear on this bolster, but that's probably because this is the one that gets used the most. And uh, like I said, it really does hold you in. So getting in past it, you know, you're gonna rub on the seat some. Um, they are adjustable seats. You can slide them forward, backwards, recline. And hopping inside, we got some gauges down here. Your retro sound radio. Horn works good. Believe it or not, that's just something that I never expect to work for some reason. Hey. Nope, he was playing, now he's not playing. He beeped at me. So again, no AC stuff in here, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. Wipers, we do have wipers, pretty sensitive. Um, and then, uh, it does look like it has, it does look like it have, has some, uh, 
aftermarket speakers and the kicks. So that's pretty cool. I haven't messed with the radio yet. Yeah, sounds pretty good. And I ain't missing you at all since you've been gone. Some other things that I did not note. Uh, well, I, I guess I did. The four-wheel disc brakes. So uh, it is a Corvette mass cylinder, but we'll check out the disc brakes when we do our next next little walk around on this thing. Um, you know, it's really easy to do a, a disc brake upgrade on the front, but you know, people don't always do the full the full four-wheel disc conversion. So. And if I recall, I think it's actually a name brand disc brake conversion. So we'll double check that here in a second. Let's see if we can launch it a little bit. so hard that it turned the wipers on that's amazing it's an added feature it just doesn't want you to accidentally launch when it's wet outside it's a pretty sensitive switch I noticed when I went to turn them on earlier that it did uh, it did it didn't take a whole lot to turn them on so I can hear a tire rubbing just a little bit if you turn too sharp so Maybe only if you're going over bumps or if it's tweaking the suspension a little bit. So. Yeah, watch this. Yeah, it's just a really sensitive switch, that's all. I'm trying to get it to where it's off. There we go. I'd rather have it sensitive than not have it at all. So, I'm gonna let that wrap up this little walk around. Again, paint is gorgeous. Couple very minor flaws, no big deal. Uh, there's your disc brakes. This kit back here looks like a Corvette kit. Oh, this one looks like a Corvette kit too, or maybe the 60, the late 60s Nova stuff. So I, I was wrong on the name brand stuff. Corvette, Corvette disc brakes. Pretty sick ride though. So that is where we'll leave this video guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time.